just for the sake of yourself, your family, and things of that nature, y'all, be prepared. Spiritually first, because that's most important, but physically also. Be like Joseph when they were when they were in Egypt and it was a famine in the land. He was prepared. They didn't go without food. It was seven years of a famine. Okay. <laughs> give you guys some tips because I've been a prepper for some years from years some years now and I've learned a lot from my, my uncle Richie he's ex-military and he's amazing okay and I've learned so much from him um you probably see him on YouTube um as Richie from Boston from a few years ago um he's no longer on YouTube but he is on Rumble if you are looking for um for richie from boston but i've learned a lot from him i've learned a lot from high impact flicks as well he he brian he was amazing as well um it's so many people but i wanted to share you share with you guys a list of things to prepare and make sure you have a lot of these things i already have and i probably need to get more of but this is not to put you in any type of fear. This is just so you're prepared. You're prepared like the ant in, you know what I'm saying, in the winter. Because the ant prepares during the summer for a winter where there's nothing alive out in the real world. But spiritually, we're seeking God now while he can be found. So that way, when there's a famine of his word, there's a famine of even sound doctrine, that you're grounded, you're rooted in his word. Sorry, y'all. It, it's we we done been through some things because I I I got to have my word, okay? Period. But just as some 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 just some quick prep things I want to share with you guys um, to make sure that you have and also consider um, that consider your children and other people that are in your household, not just for yourself. And if you're single, I encourage you to do it for yourself and um not be afraid you know because god is with you he will never leave you or forsake you he is yahweh shama the, the the lord who's always there he's he's yahweh who's always there he's the god that that's always there our god the most high god that is always there so he is shama so you're you're never alone okay just want to remind you that for all of either my single moms single dads um just even single women and men that that are not married and things of that nature do not be afraid. God is with you, okay? So I want to share a few of these prep things. If you already got them, stock up on more. And I'm not saying that anything is going to happen tomorrow or within the next week or so. We're a hundred and maybe 30 some odd days away from this presidential election. And y'all could y'all see what has been going on with that, which is very crazy. A lot going on, a lot changing. So just for the sake of yourself, your family, and things of that nature, y'all, be prepared. Spiritually first, because that's most important, but physically also. Be like Joseph when they were when they were in Egypt and it was a famine in the land. He was prepared. They didn't go without food. It was seven years of a famine. Okay? So God does God wants us to use wisdom. That's why those scriptures that I was reading came from Proverbs about being being like the ant and being like the lion. Period. Because the shaking is coming. You can't be playing around. So, number one, of course, water. Water is going to be your most important thing to stock up on water. The most important thing you can get, if you can, is a filter. I got mine from Patriot Pantry. It is a huge gallon filter. It filters out the most dirtiest water. Um, it's a bit pricey. So, you know, do what you, do what you can for your family. Um, pray, seek God, and ask him what is the best... Um, way to go about this for your family because then you only you know um bottles of water i have a costco's membership some of you guys may have bj sam's wherever you can get large quantities of things do that okay do that um also my my Gigi, she said that it would probably be best to get like the big crystal spring things like that goes within that goes in like the water filtration things that will probably be a really great investment if you can. I don't have that luxury, so I got me a filter. And like I said, it can filter out dirty river lake water, okay? I got I got a good filter. Um, 
like I said, it's very pricey. It's the stainless steel. Um, I've had it for four years now, and I really, really like it. Don't forget dry goods. You want to get dry goods um, pantry items. Beans. There are so many varieties of beans. Um, you can do what's best and what works for your family. I'm not saying, I'm not going to say any type of bean. You can do canned or dry. I prefer you to get dry beans. And if you're storing beans, make sure you get your mylar. Um, your mylar, the mylar bags, mylar bags, and also the oxygen um, absorbers for your dry beans and also rice. So I saw, I met another prepper today at Costco, which was crazy. Met a, a, a prepper and um, she's a, she was an older lady, um, an older Caucasian lady. And we just had the best car, uh, just conversation before going into Costco. And she was just expressing to me how she's been prepping for over 20 years, okay? So I'm not the only one and I'm not the only one that's out here that understand what's going on and doing what they got to do for their family. Okay, period. Um, so she said not to do brown rice. And I'm glad that I, I ran into her because the rice that I have is white rice. Um, so she said brown rice is going to have a lot of oils. So you kind of want to stay away from things like that. So brown rice um, in exchange for... Um, so exchange the brown rice for the, for the white rice. Um, I'm going to try to see if I can get away with basmati because I really love basmati rice. And right now where I am, like physically and my health and things, I have to do brown rice. So I've been stocking up on brown rice as well. Pasta is another great option. Um, pasta sauces and things of that nature are really great um, for that as well. Um, your soups, canned soups, broths, things of that nature. Um, salt. Salt is going to be very, very, very important. Pink Himalayan salt is going to be your best friend. Try to stay from the iodized white salt. It has no nutrients, no value to your body other than to raise your blood pressure. And we don't need that. So the salt is going to be really great because you can also utilize that for pre preservation purposes and also um, for electrolyte purposes. And if you're fancy, get the electrolyte packets from like Amazon or something like that or your local Costco because Costco definitely has those. Um, or BJ's or, you know, Sam's, wherever you can get bulk items. Um, but I know Walmart, they carry the big thing of, of pink and Himalayan salt as well. But that's going to be really great for like electrolytes and your water. I mean, you need electrolytes to keep your body going, y'all. And if you don't know, I'm also a studying holistic health practitioner as well. I'll get back to that a little later. Honey. Honey is a wonderful sweetener. Um, it's not like cane sugar or anything that like, like that. It's natural. And this can also help to sweeten things, but also double as a cough syrup or suppressant. Um, so that. Then we have teas, herbs. If you're, if you're into herbs, as far as like, as it, you know, helps with in, in medicinal cases, medicinally, um, get those herbs, Pe uh, peppermint, um, nettle, I'm just throwing some out there. Lemon balm, because that's very relaxed and very calming in very stressful situations. Like you're, you're, you know what I'm saying? And, and get what you get, you get with something that you would like. Green tea is is another great one. Um, and then onto canned foods, veggies, canned meats, tunas, um, things of that nature. I try to stay away from the canned meats, like spam and things of that nature, because of the high salt content. And plus, we don't eat pork, so um, if I did spam, I would do the turkey spam. And like I said. That's that would be probably like my last resort here, um, just because of the salt content. Um, that makes you um, dehydrated, so um, you, you want to be careful with that. Another thing, since I am a holistic practitioner, like I said, I'm going to share with you guys the things that are to me is like really, really important as it relates to that. And that this is what we come to like vitamins, meds, and even first aid. So if you're taking meds. You know what I'm saying? Try to get stocked up on some meds if you can. Because I know certain things like pain, medicine, and things of that nature, you can't, of course. Um, which I would not want you to do that. But what I'm saying is things like high blood pressure medicine, diabetes medicine, things of that nature. That's things that you want to go on and, you know, stock up on. Tylenol, if you, you know, if you're if you take those types of things, definitely have those stocked up. I'm a very big advocate of vitamins. So if you can get your hands on some 
magnesium especially because your body needs magnesium for over 300 biological functions in your body so you need some magnesium or you can get it as, as an oil which i actually have that in my store on uh, my storefront callmommy.shop so if you are in need of some magnesium um supplements in any type of form i got um creams i got um a oil and i also got bath salts um but yeah back to the back to the program we need magnesium you're going to need vitamin d3 zinc and vitamin c those are like the most important ones and then for like um adaptogenic stress relieving anxiety relieving things rhodiola is going to be top of my list you can find a big a big thing of rhodiola um on amazon which that is going to be very 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 great for high stress times definitely stock up on that holy basil is another one and passion flower um i do want to also encourage you to get this right here can you there we go colloidal silver colloidal silver when i say colloidal silver is very multi-purpose this is great for immune support this is great for helping with pink eye ear infection wound care when i say baby this is an all around we always got to have this in our house type situation i'm going to link this link, link this in the description box and like i said i'm gonna link it down below um so that way you can get your own um colloidal silver and as I, you know, talking about wound care, want to make sure make sure you have a first aid kit, a complete first aid kit with all of the things, um, neosporin and any type of antiseptic ointment. Make sure you have antidiarrheals. Make sure you have um, allergy medicine. Make sure you have fever reducers. Make sure you have gauze, band aids. Um, I even have like ice packs, like breakable ice packs. Um, one thing that I talked to my my Gigi about today was also even having like the you know, like the bedside, like washcloths and things of that nature that you can buy, like, you know, like, like it's almost like baby wipes, but for adults, but it's really like more so for like hygiene um, for people that are in the hospital. That would be good in this partic particular situation where, you know, if y'all don't know, electricity helps us to keep our water flowing and going, okay? So if, if the grid goes down or anything like that happens, baby you're not gonna have no water you're not gonna be able to take baths and make sure you smell fresh so we're, we're gonna need those little pads those little wipes so that is a really 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 great investment that she kind of brought to my attention today so first aid kit um also i wanted to add as it relates to food items apple cider vinegar that is a really another great one so we got salt honey apple cider vinegar Apple cider vinegar is going to be great for fe reducing fevers naturally. That's going to be great for also any indigestion, any type of gut issues you might be having going on. Um, apple cider vinegar is, is, is great for a lot of things. You can even wash your hair with apple cider vinegar. Cleanse your face as a toner. You know what I'm saying? Like, get your face clean. Things of that nature. I'm trying to think of other uses. Um, but it is really good for your health, just in general. Um, but really great for like natural purposes, like fever reducing, you know what I'm saying, things of that nature and helping with upset stomachs um, and things of that nature. So now I wanna talk about supplies because we talk about food, that's always important, but you wanna make sure that you have, you know, your firearms, bullets and things of that nature, your, um, and any other type of weapons like knives and things of that nature. Also a life straw, I meant to mention that with the filter, but we're mentioning it now. A live straw is like a straw filter where you're able, where it's able to basically filter out the dirtiest of water also, just like the filter that I have. Um, a crank radio, which is, which I have a crank radio, which is also solar powered. So that's a really great option. A solar panel charger. I have a solar panel, it's huge. Um, that it, it, it's, it's also like a light as well. Um, don't forget your candles, don't forget your fire, which is like your lighters, matches, um, I also have burners, things of that nature, batteries. Do not forget batteries and flashlights if you need them. And just, again, this is just a blanketed list. It's, 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 not, even, it's not even a full list, guys. I just wanted to just kind of go over just the basic of the basic. Um, book bags, women, get your pads and your and, and baby diapers. Because based off your needs, you know, where you are in the season of your life, um, of course, if you, you know, if you don't need those things, don't have to purchase them. But definitely you want to have pads. That can also double as gauze if somebody is hurt. 
um, to soak up blood and things of that nature. Um, so pads and any type of like wipes, any type of like, you know, care for your body, body care, things of that nature, oils. And I meant to, I forgot to mention that in food too. So whether it's coconut or olive oil, those are really great things to have on hand as well. Um, cause they can double for many things for cooking, moisturizing. Um, you can oil pull and things of that nature. If you don't have running water for two paces and brushes and things of that nature. So that would be a really, 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 really great thing to have on hand. Um, and like I said, you can also use the oil as a moisturizer. And I'm trying to make sure that I'm not forgetting anything. Diapers, wipes, if you have babies, make sure you don't forget the baby food, milk, and things of that nature. If you have a baby, this is just, just if, you know, I'm just giving you an option here. I'm not saying to do this. This is not any type of medical advice. This is no type of dietary or health advice. I'm just letting you know what you can do, okay? This is an option. Um, you can, like if you have a, 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 a little one, and either you're breastfeeding or you have, um, and you're trying to stockpile even like milk and things of that nature. Goat's milk, powdered goat's milk is going to be your best friend. Babies can drink goat's milk, um, which a lot of people don't talk about, but they can. Um, along with being able to drink goat milk as an entire family, it's really, um, really great for people that are lactose sensitive people that are uh, are allergic to dairy as well goat's milk is going to be really really great um and actually it talks about it in the book of proverbs i want to tell you goat's milk is very healing to the body it's very 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 awesome so powder goat milk Mayansburg is a really really great company i've been using those that company for years and i and i still use their powdered goat milk i love the goat milk i feel like it's cheaper to get the powder goat milk versus getting the little pint i think for almost seven dollars at Publix now so you know um but I know Walmart for sure has it and I know Amazon for sure has it on line so yeah back to what I was saying guys God wants us to be prepared for this great shaking that is coming upon the earth it's no reason to be afraid God is with you 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 don't have to fear there is nothing to fear because he says that he will be with you even to the end of the earth. And that's promise. He said it. We got to believe him. Okay. We are to be prepared like the ant. Be like the ant. While you can prepare, prepare your heart, your mind. And then also prepare physically. Make sure you're reading the word of God. Make sure you're studying. Make sure you're fasting and staying in prayer. And then secondly, not walking in fear. God is not giving you that spirit. And if you do, check to make sure you're not, you're not fearful of judgment or sin. Which you Make sure you repent and turn away from your wicked ways. So that way you are in right standing with God. And, and, and your heart is pure. Your hands are clean. You feel me? So, yeah. Y'all, that was really just it. Prepare, get your hearts and minds ready for the return and the coming of the Lord. I don't know when it is. I don't I I don't have that information, okay? And nobody has that information, okay, but the Father himself. And when Jesus parts the sky, we'll know. I don't know if I'm going to be here, but I'm just, you know, this is going to be here. I'm going to let y'all know now. I'm letting y'all know that this is what God wanted me to say. I don't know if it's five years from now or 15 years from now, but this video is gonna be here. I'm not taking it down unless YouTube decides otherwise. But what I'm saying to you is be prepared, be prepared, trust God, read your word, and teach your children the same thing. I've been teaching my children this stuff for years. We homeschool, we're going into our 10th homeschool year, this school year, and my kids are well-versed, not only in just the word, but they understand they understand what's going on on the global stage to the extent that they can understand. And also, they understand prepping. They understand why we do what we do, okay? Why our head is on the swivel. And on another note, wait a second, I did want to share this. We went to see a, a firework display in Griffin um, on 4th of July. And I just, I, I just, I had to share this, guys. This was an experience. It was wild. So at the end of the, the fireworks show, this, there was this big orange mushroom cloud 
of fire and smoke. When I say, first of all, that has never happened. I've been going there for four years watching the fireworks because I love fireworks. I don't celebrate just 4th of July. I just love fireworks, okay, period. But I'm saying all that to say, at the end of the show, there's this big cloud, mushroom, orange mushroom cloud. I literally thought the, the thing blew up. When I say I told my kids to get in the car because we were at a, a far enough dif distance from where they were, you know, popping off. Because it's, it's like a big show. So we were at a farther enough di distance. But when I say I had never seen nothing like that before, it literally looked like a nuke went off. At the end of the show, when I said I, that was this, that was scary to the point where I told my kids to get in the car and my sister came with me and she was dragging her feet. I'm like, bro, like we got to go. Like, I'm not going to sit here waiting on, you know what I'm saying? I'm not doing that. I'm not doing that. I jumped in my car. People are still looking in amazement, like looking, baby, we're, we're leaving. Like we're, we're going to go and I'm backing out. She's still behind the car, baby. We're. I'm zooming. Folks are still looking at the sky, like in that movie. Um, the movie with um, with the girl from Akila and the Bee. I can't think of her name right. Kiki Palmer, and the dude from Get Out. Whatever that movie was, y'all know what I'm talking about. That movie where people was like so amazed at what they were looking at in the sky, like destruction was just happening all around them and that's the crazy part and the fact that these people were sitting there just stuck like baby we were not in amazement me and my three kids were in the car at the same time because i told you me i my babies are on it you know what i'm saying i've been teaching them like you're only as strong as your weakest link i'm not playing i'm not playing with my kids and i'm not playing with the folks in this world like when everything turns to crap we trust in Jesus and we, we being led by him. We're being protected and guarded by him. And that's only by wisdom. You know what I'm saying? Wisdom will protect you. That's what Proverbs say. But we, we have to understand that wisdom comes from God. You know what I'm saying? That comes by having the fear, the reverence, the awe of God. Okay? That's the beginning of wisdom. Having that reverence and, and understanding, okay, I don't know more than God. He knows everything. So I'm going to trust him to lead me. But when I say I was gone... I was gone. Me and the kids were gone. We we left. And it was very traumatizing to say the least. But just thinking about that, I feel like God was trying to show me something that I'm, I'm not saying that there's going to be a nuke. I'm not saying any of those things. But I feel like something is coming. A shaking is coming. And I don't know what that shaking entails. But I just felt like that was that orange mushroom crowd, cloud was prophetic because I've never seen it before. In, in the in the fireworks show ever and then everything that's happening in the world right now be prepared y'all be prepared not fearful because i used to be afraid when god was showing me these things years ago i'm not afraid anymore because i have his perfect love do not be afraid be as bold as a lion and don't be scared you got this he is with you prepare Seek him while he can be found. I love y'all. And until next time, I did not intend for this to be that long. But until next time, y'all be blessed. Later.